Welcome to Physics Games. About a year ago, I made a video on how to change the weather in seven days to die. Recently, someone commented on the video on how can they have a constant storm. Of course, I responded that you need to edit the Biomes XML file. Boom, I had to make one. There it is. You can download it from Nexus Mods right now. All the links in the description. It's been received well by those that love the dystopian weather. But if you would like something different, I'm going to show you how you can make your own little mod to edit the weather. So let's begin with some important information about this mod. We have heavy rain and we also have heavy storm. So heavy storm just has a lot more wind um, to go with that rain. And there's also the options for you to download those two modlets with the desert being dry because some people don't want it to be raining in the desert and it will never rain there. Of course, it will always snow in the snow biome. And importantly, you have to understand that it is hard coded in the game that it will never rain on day one. So these mods will make it much more murkier on day one, but it won't be until day two that all of this information will kick off and it will rain constantly until the end of your game. Once you've downloaded the mod and extracted the information in the zip file, you need to locate your app data roaming directory. And I have a card above for that because I've been through that before in detail. And within there, there you find the seven days to die folder. There's a, there's a folder for all your different games. And within that, you need another folder called mods with a capital. M and that there may not exist for you if you've never used modlets before. So once you've got that in there, you place a folder for the modlet. Now, when you extract my modlet, it will be called Heavy Rain Version 2 as per the time creating this video because I had to do a little tweak. So I've made a version 2, but you are welcome to rename this to anything that you want. It won't make a difference to how the modlet works. Within that itself, there is the modlet, and that's where the files need to be placed in mods in a folder of any name and there we have it so what we have is two files we have the modlet info.xml this is just some information saying that, that there is a modlet to the game and within that we then place files that tell the game what to replace in the existing files and the files that we're going to mess around with are found in the config directory config with a big capital c and within that a file called biomes.xml now i haven't rewritten the biomes xml file as some people do what I've told it to do is edit specific things and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today next we're going to locate our steam directory and within that we have steam apps common seven days to die and data and here is all of the data that we need to run the game and there is our config with a capital C folder so we're mirroring this as we edit and modify the files and within that we can see the biomes.xml file that we're going to be messing around with so let's get down to nitty gritty i've got two versions of the biomes.xml open here the one that i've modded which is going to look very different because i'm telling it to change very specific things within the original file and the original file which starts off with lots of green text and that green text just well it's well worth reading it tries to explain to you everything that you can modify in this file we open up the world generation and uh, within there we have some special definitions which is all good again more green text to read but then we get to the biome sections and the first biome is snow and it tells you all the different weathers that we can have in the snow so default fog uh, snowy stormy uh, and some others too now importantly they all have a probability factor in here and that probability factor all adds up to 100 percent so this the default weather in the snow biome in game is going to have a probability of 44 percent fog is eight percent snow 40 and storm eight percent here now but they all add up to 100. We also have some more. The blood moon is zero. This one isn't set because it's only red during the blood moon. And of course, the same goes for all the twitch, rain and fog and whatnot. That has a probability of zero because it's only triggered when needed. So we're only interested in the top four, really. The default, the fog, the snow and the storm. And these are ones that we're going to edit. Now, there is no rain section within the snow uh, biome information so we have to be careful make sure that we we use snow here but if i scroll down further and further we find stuff to do with different you know different ores different biomes that kind of stuff within the snow zone but if we keep going eventually we'll get to this section here the biome of the pine forest and this is the one i'll use an example for editing today so it has four it has default fog rain instead of snow and storm and again it has probabilities 83 percent the default here seven seven and 
3, again adding up to 100. So now into the biomes.xml file that comes with the modlet and the first section just like in the original file the first section is to do with snow so that's the first thing i changed but let's go and have a look at the pine forest because this is the one we're going to look at today and i put a comment in here that's why it's in green saying the pine forest biome is set to rain only then we have some information about this biome we're going to change the default probabilities to zero the fog and the storm to zero and the probability of rain to 100. obviously in my stormy mod i changed the rain to zero and the storm to 100. We then change all the information to do with what we get in rain, which is now at 100%, the cloud thickness, the precipitation, and the wind itself. I've also changed the blood moon information because I want it to precipitate to be horribly bad weather during that as well, so it's always there with us in game. Oh no, not another annoying YouTuber with this silly little graphic. Well, the bottom line is my channel would be revolutionized if everyone did, and I would have 35,000 subs right now but that's not actually what I'm looking for what I'm looking for is people who got this far that are going to learn something they're going to enjoy my content and that are generally just very lovely people if that is you then please hit the button now as you can see all these lines of code all look very very similar and uh, basically it means that once you've learned how to change one or two of them then you can change anything within the biomes xml you wish and make your own weather mod now you can see here that for each of the changes i've opened and closed at the end of the line a set command here and within there i have got a an x path an x path which equals and in quotations the exact position of the value that i wish to change and then after that i put in the brand new value so here we are looking at the pine forest trying to change the pine forest which is found in world generation biomes biome and there it is the pine forest we want to change the weather and the weather for the default and the, we want to change the probability value to be zero so let's have a look how we find that the world generation section there here it is under the green text at the beginning of the file. Here's world generation. It's been opened there in the square brackets, but it hasn't been closed. You can see that weather has been opened and closed and doesn't contain the information that we want. So we're going to completely ignore that. So we've got world generation open. Then we've got biomes and then we've got biome. And in this case, we have the snow one. Now we can see this mirrors this world generation biomes biome, but we need the pine forest one that we're going to look at for this specific example. So I scroll down to the pine forest section and here is the biome called pine forest. So again, we've gone world generation biomes biome and there is pine underscore forest. None of these have been closed by the script and we're now going to go into a weather part of the script and here they are lots of them in there within the pine forest and we're going to have to be specific and say i want the weather that's called default and there it is weather with the app name equals default and we're going to change the probability value the probability value is currently 83 we do not want the default weather we want rain only so therefore we're going to tell it even though we haven't changed it here we're going to tell it to change that to zero we can do this for fog rain and storm just by copying and pasting these lines and changing each of these values that means this will turn out to be zero when the game loads this will turn out to be zero the rain will become 100 and the storm will become zero too next we do the same but we do the same just for the rain section instead of changing the probability here now we're now going to go into these three parts and change their minimum and maximum values so we have for example precipitation the minimum 90 and the maximum 100 we want it to be above 30 it says in the green text above that as long as it's above 30 we'll actually see the rain so if we go here we have the weather and we're going to go to the weather rain section and within there we've changed this already to 100 percent but now we want to change the precipitation from 30 to 80 but to 90 and 100. these also have probability values and probability values are a bit weird in the scripting for seven days to die because they can be out of 100 or they can be out of one so i wouldn't mess with this this just means that when it is raining it is raining let's not of course forget the blood moon by default remember we don't need to change this probability this only activates a blood moon and the precipitation is always zero that's why it never rains when the sky is red but we want to change that so we scroll down to this section here and all i did was i just copied and pasted this placed it 
here and change the blood moon, the weather blood moon, to these large values as well. So it was disgustingly horrible during the horde. And there we go. It's just about messing with these lines of code and uh, changing what you want. Of course, you could decide to change things like uh, the fog um, or the temperature or something else that will give you an extra challenge in the game. You can see in the snow section, the only difference is that there is not a weather section called rain. I had to change the one called snow. I also changed the desert and in some of the mods I didn't make it rain within those uh, within that biome. The wastelands and of course don't forget the good old burnt forest even though we can't generate with it you can do if you're using something like tarragon so make sure you cover that aspect as well. This of course is only a basic overview of the XML editing here. If you need any more help making your little modlet then of course head over to the discord. The links are in the description below where you'll find many people including myself to help you and of course these are wonderful members of my youtube channel supporting me in making these videos you can do the same by of course hitting the subscribe button and leaving a lovely comment too now it's your chance to click on another video from my channel i hope you're having a wonderful day and you've enjoyed the video i'll see you very soon goodbye